For today's Build It segment, we are converting an iron uh, chain stool into a side table. We'll be using a plastic saucer for plants as a mold for the concrete. And we'll be using a vinyl concrete patcher because it has a finer concrete texture uh, so that when uh, laying out the concrete on the base of the mold, it'll be able to take the shape of the molding and there won't be as many creases, um, indentations, so forth, uh, because it's finer material and um, the rocks are smaller. Whereas with a different um, concrete mix, you may have larger stones and you have uh, a, a rougher texture. You want to set the concrete mold on a nice even surface so that you have an even distribution of the concrete mix. To complete the molding of the tabletop, I use a fast setting um, uh, concrete mix, which is has a larger, rougher texture. And I was okay with doing that because largely because I ran out of the vinyl setting and I had already uh, used what I needed to ensure that the molding took shape for the base, uh, which would be the tabletop. Uh, but for the bottom of the table, it was totally okay to use a rougher texture concrete. So I used a 30 minute quick set concrete for the base for the bottom of the tabletop and smoothed that out. Uh, make sure that you're wearing uh, gloves uh, during this process because this is a bit of a messy process and you don't want to have anything between your nails and so forth or any type of irritants on your hand. Um, you want to uh, smooth it out and spread it evenly onto the mold and you can use a piece of wood to evenly spread the molding, spread the uh, concrete mix uh, throughout the surface of the molding. And you can top it off with some dry concrete uh, mix at the top and that is something that I learned from watching uh, a stone masonry uh, do to even out the surface. And again you use a piece of wood to smooth out the concrete mold and you can even go over that again with a uh, dry brush, dry paint brush to further smooth out the molding. And then 24 hours, uh, everything should be set and you can flip out the tape top from the molding. Then using two coats of the Rust-Oleum primer, I covered, uh, I spray painted the ta uh, tabletop. You want to go over the concrete tabletop about two to three times to get a nice even coat of uh, the primer. Then using a light sanding paper, I went over the edges to smooth out the rough uh, concrete edges at the table base. Finally, once everything was done, I was able to go and start painting the uh, tabletop. I used a patio painter that paint that I found at Hobby Lobby to paint the tabletop. And this is where you can get creative. You can essentially paint your tabletop however you want. But because I used a molding that had a sun in the middle, I felt compelled to keep it in the direction of of the sun and the colors of the sun and 
but I decided to get a little, a little more creative with it and I made it look uh, abstract and like I was using watercolor paints when in fact I was actually using acrylic. Um, but again, there is no right or wrong way in how you do this. You can essentially paint or not decide not to paint. It's totally up to you. Once I had everything painted, I was able to attach it to the to the top of the iron chain stool. You can attach the concrete tabletop with a clamp and screws. However, I don't recommend screwing uh, any screws into the concrete tabletop until about a week after it's cured. Um, by that time, it's, it should be strong enough to allow you to drill into it. Because if you do drilling it too soon, you could crack the entire tabletop. So now that my table is done, it is time for me to go outside and enjoy a nice refreshing glass uh, of sweet tea. <laughs> but you thought it was going to be wine. Uh, not this time. Okay, till next time.